Hey Aries, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nali, aka Awotero, and I'm here to give you guys your daily message. We're going to tap into this energy, see what is coming towards you for today. But before we get started, guys, if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can be notified when I post a new reading. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all your love and support. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Alrighty, Aries, as you all know, these readings are for sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. They are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please stay with us. Leave the rest behind. Time is fluid. So whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. There is no gender in tarot, guys. Please reverse the roles if need be. Cross watches are always welcome. And guys, don't forget to check your other placements so you get a better understanding of this energy. If you would like to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. So let's go ahead and get started here, guys. Let's see what is coming towards you. I do not like that shuffle. What is coming towards you? What is your overall energy for today? What is your message? What is the message here for Aries Universe, Archangel Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians? Three of Cups in the reverse and the Ace of Pentacles. And the judgment in the reverse. Alrighty, guys. You're definitely dealing with a third-party situation. I'm going to take this one, too, with a very non-committal person. Very non-committal. For some of you guys, you found out about a third party. You found out that your person, or you already knew that this person is very non-committal. And you found out already. You already have the proof that this person had you in a third-party situation. With the Ace of Pentacles here, you're coming into a realization that there is not going to be a stable new beginning here with this person. There's never going to be a stable new beginning with this person because they're not wanting to commit to anyone. This person's energy with the judgment in the reverse, they don't know what the hell they want. They really don't. This person is only looking out for themselves and nobody else. Every time that this person makes a decision, it's always the wrong decision. And then they have the nerve to deny the fact that they have you in a third-party situation. They try to tell you, oh, I'm in love with you, I want to be with you, but then they go and do this shit. So for a lot of you guys, you are starting to realize that you, you have gotten your information already that this person has you in a third-party situation and they will never commit. This person doesn't want stability with you or with anyone. With the Seven of Pentacles here, you have been hoping, praying, wishing, just wanting this situation to grow wanting this relationship to grow but i feel that a lot of you guys are going to see it as you've wasted your time you've wasted your time on a person that is only worried about themselves i'm sorry guys that's my ice machine that's just worried about themselves and they're not worried about anyone else aries look it you've been enlightened you've totally been enlightened okay You've gotten some clarity. You've been praying for this clarity. For a lot of you guys, you've definitely been praying, asking the universe, asking God, asking your angels, asking your ancestors to give you some type of guidance, to give you some type of light in the situation. And you've gotten it already. You got it already. You've this whole time that you've been sitting there hoping, praying that this situation would grow, that this that this relationship would grow, that you guys would grow together, grow closer, grow closer together. It's not happening because this person is not wanting that. And you will finally have been enlightened. This person, you know the truth. You know the truth. This person is non-committal and they don't want a commitment with you or with anyone. With the five of swords in the reverse, you're tired. I'm sorry, with the five of wands. <clears throat> you're tired of fighting for this person's attention. Shit, you're tired of fighting for this connection, period, Aries. You're tired and you're not going to do it anymore. You are not going to do this anymore. Let's see. Yo, Ace of Swords, didn't I tell you that you guys were waiting for some type of conversation? I'm sorry, some type of confirmation, the truth? Here it is. You've gotten the truth. Somebody came towards you or you've seen something, whatever it is, how you got your truth, but you finally see the truth in the matter and you come to terms and you have understood that this person will never commit to you or anyone else. And it's time for you to walk away. It is time for you to walk away and start doing for yourself. Stop fighting for a person that doesn't want to fight for you. This person is very non-committal. And for some of you guys, they've, they've told you this. This is how you got your information. This person actually told you, I'm not going to commit to you. I'm not going to commit to anyone. I'm going to continue being this knight of wands. I'm going to continue being in and out. I'm going to party. I'm sexy. I'm cute. I'm this. I'm that. I'm not going to settle down with nobody. I'm not going to give up my party lifestyle here with the nine of wands in the reverse. I'm not. 
I'm not. And this prompt you, when this person told you this, you decided to take this leap of faith. You're deciding to move on. And the second you do that, guess what? You're opening up the doors to a new happy beginning with a soulmate. You're opening up the door. You're going to be so happy moving forward. Okay, look it. Once you release this person and this energy and this situation, there's a soulmate that's going to come in here. And this person is going to make you happy as hell. Happy. Like you will never expect it to be as happy as you're going to be with this person. But once this person tells you, I'm not going to commit to you. I'm not going to commit to nobody. I am not letting my prayer ways go. When you hear that, that's going to be your ticket to walk the fuck away. That's going to be your ticket to walk away. Why? Because the second you do that, the second you release the situation, you just opened up the door to a soulmate. You just opened up the door for somebody to come in here and make you happy. Okay? Now you got the four of wands here. This is crazy. You got the four of wands. You're going to have a happy, happy home, happy life, happy wife type of scenario. Okay? There's going to be happiness for you. Man, for a lot of you guys, you've been trying. You've been trying to build this home with this person, and you're going to have the opportunity to build it with this person now. You're going to have the opportunity to build it with this soulmate that's going to make you happy, okay? You're going to have so much stability. You're going to have so much happiness. But once this person confesses the truth and tells you, I'm not going to commit to you. I'm not going to commit to nobody. I am not releasing my player ways. That's going to be your ticket out. That conversation is going to be your ticket out. <clears throat> this is crazy. This is totally fucking crazy. Look, it. you got the lovers in the reverse, okay? This is a broken relationship. This is a separation. And the world, this is a cycle closing. This is a cycle end with this person. I'm telling you, once this person speaks their truth, because for you, Aries, somebody's going to come and tell you, I don't want to commit to you. I don't want to commit to nobody. When this person does this, it's going to prompt that breakup. It's going to close that cycle, and it's going to open up the door to this. A soulmate, a happy home, a happy life, a happy hubby, and a bunch of happiness. You're going to have your kids running around the backyard. Look at how that kid's on that horse. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I apologize. You're going to have so much happiness that this person, I swear to God, you will never think about them ever again. You're going to forget this person the second this person walks in. So once they speak their truth, you're going to be able to open up the door to beautiful new beginnings here. Once they tell you the truth. And for a lot of you guys, you already know this. You already know this. You're just waiting for confirmation from your person. Well, guess what, baby? It's coming. They're going to tell you, I am not going to commit to you. I will never commit to you. I will never commit to anyone. Alrighty, Aries, I hope this gives you some form of clarity. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification button. If you want to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. You guys have a good one. Bye.